In Ephesians chapter 2 verses 11 through 22, we look at the fact of the difference between Jews and Gentiles. And of course, Jews were the people of the covenant and of the promises and of the sacrifices and of the temple and all those things. And Gentile people didn't quite fit in, in at all. And there were really two sets of people. Um, so what Jesus accomplished and what Paul talks about here to the Ephesians is that you, we, the Gentiles were without, uh, without the, the connection of, of with Israel. We were strangers and, and without the covenants and the hope and so forth are now made one in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ broke down that, that, that wall of deportation between Jews and Gentiles. Um, and of course, through the Jewish uh, tradition and, and covenants established the fact that without the shedding of blood, there is no for remission of sins. Well, now that Jesus Christ has come and become the, um, the, the, the lamb that takes away the sins of the world, and of course, that's what John the Baptist called him, uh, no longer is there a covering for, for sins or needed for covering of sins because Jesus Christ took away the sins. So now we are all together as one Jew and Gentile under one household. And that's really what that second part of Ephesians talks about. He says, and it says in verse 14, uh, well, verse 13, but now in Christ Jesus, you are who were once far off made near by the blood of Christ. Isn't that a great? For he is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down that middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in the ordinance to make in himself of, of the two one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And of course, it's by the body of Jesus Christ that our sins were paid for in full and that we were brought into the same household, that household of God. He goes on to say, verse 17, and came and preached peace to you who were afar off, that would be us, Gentiles, and to them that were near, the Jews, for through him we both have access, and don't you love this, by one spirit into the Father. So no longer uh, is it through ritual or tradition or um, ritual practice, but it, it's through the, through the Holy Spirit, through the blood of Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit, we all have access. We can come boldly to the throne of grace. We are one family now. What was broken in the Garden of Eden uh, through sin has now been reestablished through the righteousness of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice for us in, in our place. And he goes on to say in verse 19, Now therefore you are no more strangers or sojourners, but fellow citizens with the saints in the household of God, and are built up the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all building fitly framed together, grows unto a holy temple in the Lord in whom you are also built together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. So we are, we are now the house of God. The ten, Literally, and of course we know the temple in, in Jerusalem it was destroyed in 70 AD, but now the true temple of God is in the temple of the Holy Spirit is, is us ourselves. We, uh, as the body of Christ, both Jews, Gentiles, and it's just an amazing thing to be of the family of God. That, that once we were alienated, now we have been brought into the household of God. And where there's joy and peace um, and access to the throne of grace in our time of need. And of course, if you're like me, our time of need is all the time. Uh, we, need, we need that access to the Father. And we can come to Him anytime at all time. And, and it's probably a good practice to come to Him all the time. Uh, he, he is such a good God and a good Father, and He loves you so much. I, I pray if you don't know Jesus, if you don't know the Lord today, that you ask Him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins, and He will do that. 
If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that is such amazing news today. As many as believed on him, to them he gave the power to become children of God, even to them that believe on his name. Believe on Jesus. Ask him into your life and into your heart today. Ask him for that forgiveness and come into the household of God and be a part of the family of God. In Jesus' name, God bless you.